In this application, we're going to be looking at perimeter and area of pool tables. The Hartford pool table that's made by Brunswick Billiards comes in three sizes of playing areas, 50 inches by 100 inches, 44 inches by 88 inches, and 38 inches by 76 inches. We're asked to find the perimeter and the area of each table and part B by how much area does the large table exceed the small table. We'll start by looking at part A, and notice that part A has two parts in itself, the perimeter and the area, and each of those has three parts because we need to know the perimeter of each table and the area of each table. So let's start by finding the perimeter of each table. The perimeter, we may need to look this up if we don't remember it, but the perimeter of a uh, rectangular area is two times the length plus two times the width. And our answer is going to be in inches since all the dimensions are given in inches. And we will start by finding the perimeter of the 50 inch by 100 inch table. That would be two times 50, that's actually two times the width, plus two times 100, which is 100 plus 200, or 300 inches. That's the perimeter of the first table. For the 44 inch by 88 inch table, we have the perimeter is 2 times 44 inches plus 2 times 88 inches, which is 88 inches plus 176 inches, or 264 inches. And now we find the perimeter of the third table, which was 38 inches by 76 inches. And we have 2 times 38 plus 2 times 76 inches, which is 76 inches plus 152 inches. And adding that together, we get 228 inches. Now that was the perimeter of each of the tables. Now we need to find the area of each of the tables. The area is length, the formula is length times width. So for the first table, the 50 inch by 100 inch table, we have 50 inches times 100 inches or five and this will be square inches since we have areas in square units. For the next table, the 44 inch by 88 inch, the area is 44 times 88, which is 3,872 square inches. And for the third table, the 38 inch by 76 inch, we have 38 times 76, which is 2,888 square inches. Now we found all six parts to part A. Let's check what part B had to say. Part B asks, by how much area does the large table exceed the small table? Let's look at the area. The large table is 5,000 square inches in area. The small table is 2,888 square inches in area. So to answer part B, we want to subtract the large area and subtract from it the area of the smallest table. And when we do this calculation, we get 2,112 square inches. So this large table exceeds the small table in area by 2,112 square inches.